What is going on guys? We are coming back into Advanced Wars 2 Black Hole Rising. So let's just get started in the next mission. Black Hole is closing in. Can I hold the bridge? Lord Flack, Orange Star Force is setting on the opposite shore. What? Is that all they got? Ha! Send out the tanks. Tanks are powerful and they move far. Tanks are the best. Orange Star Commanding Officers? Ha! I will crush them. Crush them all! So the mission is Border Skirmish. Alright, let's see what we have here so far. Commander, enemy troops have been spotted on the far side of the river. Are you sure? Here in this rural area? What are your orders, ma'am? Should we cease ops and attack? That's affirmative, soldier. We can't allow the enemy a foothold in this, this deep in Orange Star territory. Good assessment, Sammy. That's a tactical since I expect from a Special Forces Commander. Now, what are you doing here? Tracking on the commanding officer who's invading Orange Star, of course. Sammy, can I trust you to take care of this situation? Yes, ma'am. But if you had some advice you could offer, I'd feel much more confident. I'd be happy to, Sammy. Okay, troops, let's move out. Lord Flacker, infantry is reported finding Orange Star properties. What? Enemy cities? Capturing bases is grunt work. But I was told we need cash to fund the invasion. Listen up, but if, if it ain't nailed down, steal it. Now, cities, bases, or whatever, they all got capture numbers of 20. Any infantry with an HP of 10 can reduce the number, the capture number by 10. You can secure property in, uh, two days. Derp to derp. If you move or get taken out while capturing, you gotta start over. You got that? Well then, get moving. Black Hole needs cash. So, Sammy's specialty is, yeah, troop deployment. Cursor Intel. I'm just gonna fast forward through this stuff. So right now what I would first recommend on doing is um, Yeah, going to take out this tank, mech units. The stronger the infantry units, they have a smaller movement radius, but they can capture troops, move, do everything infantry can, but they're also really good against tanks as well. And because Sammy's our commanding officer, we can go into our officer intel. Her infantry specialist, her foot soldiers move farther, capture faster, and cause more damage, but most of her units are weaker versus vehicles, so she has weaker vehicle stats. And her, suit, her regular power is double time infantry, mech units receive a movement bonus of one, and their strength increases as well. And then victory march it does movement by two, and they can capture in one turn even if they're not full health. Which is a really fun way to end games. So we're just going to go and attack this tank. And then for the most part I'm just going to be fast forwarding on these uh, on battles and animations. And we are able to capture with 5 instead of... At a rate of 5 instead of 10. And that does go down a little bit for... Um, it does go down, not as much as enemy as other commanding officers do with capture but they still go down it still goes down when you take damage nonetheless so right now she they're talking about the defense defense bonuses which I already told you about and you can press the B button over any artillery unit to uh, see where they fire the red squares are where they can fire and I did kind of forget to mention that Artillery are some of the ranged units there. You have up close units like the tank, which can fire wherever they can move. And the artillery units, the ranged units, which they have to stay in place where they fire. Except for like one other unit we'll get to later. But they can fire on a range and they won't take damage from a counterattack because they're too far away. So right now, I think we'll just... The artillery unit, blah blah blah, I don't know what to do with this. Yeah, I literally just said that. So we're just gonna go up here. And then I'll just bring up this APC right there and supply. That'll be it for the turn. And then two women commanding officers. <laughs> it's a good country, I must have it. How about Barrick? So he's saying, oh no, the unit's been hurt, which we pretty much know already. Yeah, and the G up next to, up above our 
picture in the upper right hand corner and that's how much money we have to build units or um what was I gonna say it's build units or um heal units on cities god why, why the frick can I guess can I say that okay so I'll just move that there there and I'll drop it on the city Oh, that's not, that's not that's not good. But we have artillery units. So I'm just going to attack that one. Have this guy come over here and attack that. And I'll just load him up. And actually, I will just do this. attack the infantry first. That was somewhat of a stupid move. We can still attack the tank. Attack the tank there. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do a supply from there. Infantry aren't very strong against vehicles, so that's good for us. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and kill him. Alright, that's all they keep doing, which is relatively stupid, actually. Yeah, that's literally all he can do. Uh. I guess I'll just have him start going to going for the headquarters. And I'll just leave there. So we capture that. And we captured at a rate of four, even though our health is three. Actually I'm gonna move you over there. And get this up here. And we take it down by 15 in one turn, which is super good. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. So he escaped, and he was rude. And because we didn't finish this as fast as we could, we still we didn't get as many points in speed, but we still got power and technique really well. So we'll move on to the next mission. our next mission becomes available. Yeah, we're going to save data. We're going to this mission, and this is the third commanding officer of Orange Star. Yeah, and you can press the right shoulder button to see what the map is going to look like. You won't be able to see exactly what uh, properties you have available to you. We can still get a general layout of the map. <laughs> So this is just really kind of banter. This is really still tutorial stuff. And this mission is Orange Dawn. So Max is our is our kind of brute character for this. He's better with up close units like tanks and medium tanks and helicopters. But he's not so good with um, with range units. His range is actually one less than everyone else's. And we're combat veteran, medium tanks, battle copters, transport copters. So the air units are well, they can go over any terrain and they take up gas each turn. If they lose if their gas reaches zero, they will crash and the unit will be destroyed. And the K and the tank unit will be much better with max. Indirect combat is something that we still need to work on. And the transport copter is like your APC, except it can hold two infantry at once. And it's got a huge, a uh, much wider range. And you can only drop them off on places where you can drop off an infantry. Like, 
You can't drop it off in the ocean and expect your unit to drown. Alright, so we're just gonna go and attack that. And when attacking ground units, helicopters use, um, not that, not that up, well anyway, helicopters use missiles when fighting the ground, that's the 6 ammunition icon, and when they're fighting air units, they use, uh, they use a machine gun. So let's get a look at our commanding officer, he is better with, uh, close non-infantry direct combat units. And indirect combat units are limited to range and firepower. His regular power is max force, which increases the firepower and movement as well. And max blast increases combat unit. Uh, combat units receive firepower boost, and their movement actually goes up even higher. So yeah, if you want to go smash something with a tank, max is your man. But forests still provide a bit of trouble. So we're gonna move that on the city. And they had to give you an artillery just to say, fuck you. Yeah, so we can press the B button. It's really, really crappy. So we're probably not going to be seeing much action from the artillery. And then he's just like, oh, it's so good. It's just like me. And she's talking more about joining... So what I would actually recommend when you're doing joining first is attacking with one unit. Can I, yeah, that can go up there, so I will drop off this right there. Move these up, that too, for whatever it's worth. Just move him there, he does 59 damage against the ground. And Ground units can fire back against the air units, they're just not as good because they have to use their machine guns. Yeah, so I feel like we'd be fine with that, so I'll just go ahead and turn. And he he simply refuses to attack me, which is really strange. So I guess I'll just attack this infantry right now, because I'm pretty sure... Oh, I can't, that sucks. Attack that. Yeah, it does 102 damage, so it's pretty much a guaranteed kill. But you can really keep the uh, battle copters around for quite a while in this one, actually. Now he's going to start attacking my medium tanks. Which, at this point, we only have one medium tank, but we still have two battle copters, which are really nice. So we'll just go and attack that. We'll have our tank fall back. And wow, we don't do a ton of damage against that. That is not nice. So yeah, we'll just have that shoot there. We'll have you go and fight there. And I mean, I, I guess we can have this go there. He can, it can hit both. We should be fine. Unless he decides to move. Like a little asshole. Okay, so we've managed to blow that one up too. That's really nice. I'm actually going to join these two tanks together. Oh wow, his medium tank did so much to me. Go battle copters! Join! Alright, let's just kill that infantry. God dang it. David versus Goliath. Let's go! Alright. 
right? So now he's just saying, oh, that was a test. I was just fucking with you. Speed is length of time. Power is number of any enemy units you destroy. Technique counts the number of units you lost. I do not know if um, joining units counts as loss. But I don't think it does. Because it's actually just... You're actually saving units instead of having units destroyed. But anyway, we are going to save in this episode. And in the next time one, I will start covering more of these missions. You can do them in any order, so I'll see you guys next time.